Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I guess I just had a question on the, um, I guess on page three and four of the uh, of the bill when it talks about the um, acute care acute care therapy services. Yes. So, in page three, section eight, it says that uh, an additional sum is to be appropriated uh, for acute therapy services and for that to be allocated among the different provider types. Is that correct? Yes. But then uh, Section 9, subsection C, says that there should be a cost savings initiative implemented by the agency regarding the same therapy services. Is that the way I read it? Yes. Um, this Rider, Rider 50, and I'm going to ask Leora to come up. Um, hopefully I don't say it wrong. Um, <laughs> But this rider initially established savings targets for the agency when it came to reducing therapy rates that were established by the 84th legislature. Um, this adjustment re this, this realigns those saving targets to consider or to roll in the effect of this increased appropriation. Well, I, I guess if I understand it correctly, then uh, they're asking for an appropriation of a. Uh, on page three of uh, 21.5 million from the ESF and 29.8 million from federal funds. So that would probably total about what, 51 million around more or less in total funds? 51.3 million, yes. Okay. But then the uh, modification of the Rider 50 language on page four is uh, asking the agency for that same service to achieve um, 25 million in general re revenue funds and um, I guess, wait, 28.5 million in general revenue funds and 25 in general revenue. I guess, do I, on the savings that they want them to achieve, is it 28, 5 plus 25 or just? Because I guess the way it's written here, it says in state fiscal year 2017, 28.5 million, right? In general revenue funds, savings should be achieved through rate reductions. This adjusts the general revenue savings rate from the 50 million per fiscal year that was identified in last year's budget, um, reduces that by the 21.5 million that we're appropriating for this purpose for fiscal 17. So it reduces the target for fiscal 17 state funds target by the 21.5 that's appropriated in this bill. Okay. So then I guess even though we're appropriating them additional funds, if they still meet, meet the target of the savings, is there a difference there then in, in what's actually going to be put in? Or... The original savings was $50 million from rate reduction. Could you identify I'm sorry. yourself? Yes. Leora Rodell, Legislative Budget Board. The original savings was $50 million from rate reductions, $25 million from other policy initiatives. This appropriates $21.5 million to offset the savings from rate reductions, which brings the savings target down to the 28.5. The $25 million in other policy initiatives savings is maintained. Okay. And, and for example, that would be what? And I guess how would the agency achieve that? The policy, it's the things listed on page five and six. And that's the original direction that was in the General Appropriations Act. And I guess if you could just clarify for me, there's nothing on page five and six in terms of policy initiatives from the agency that deal with uh, access to care, right? That, I mean, they can achieve these savings, but first and foremost, they have to see that it's not going to affect access to care? That's correct. So there's nothing in that language that says that that should be their first um, condition? I think that was in uh, Rider 50 in a different section that isn't repeated in here because it hasn't changed. This only amends subsection C. But if we're still going to be modifying the terms and conditions of what those initiatives are going to be, does it have to still be included in there? Because That language is still in effect. It's in the General Appropriations Act and hasn't been amended. So I guess just to clarify then, the amount of money that's being put in to offset the cuts at the end of the day is what amount? Because I know you're changing the target as to what the savings should be. It's the 21.5 million 
is so what was put in to offset the say reductions. So we're really just putting in 21.5 million for that. In GR, yes. And in all funds, it would be the. It's 21.5 plus the 29.8, so 51.3 million in all funds. So we're putting in 50 million, even though Rider 50 had a directive to save how much? At Rider 50, the total savings across the biennium was 150 million. So we're putting in 50 million to offset the 150 that they asked for, right? Yes, but this is only addressing 17. The 75 million that was for 16 wasn't fully achieved either. And the question on the, if the agency realizes these savings, what do they do with the, what, what do they do with the money? For example, it's not expended, what, what do they do? If they achieve the savings, so they've been given uh, enough money to partially restore the rates. If the savings exceeded the level that's currently assumed and they don't have another expenditure in Medicaid that requires those funds, they would lapse. But they do have the ability to utilize it for something else, if needed? Uh, it could be used in Medicaid if needed, and then they have the ability to request transfer as well. And then just overall in general, the amount being appropriated by the supplemental bill, is that to cover the 17 Medicaid shortfall? or uh, The amount in the supplemental bill is for fiscal year 2017, yes. The full amount of the shortfall? The full amount that needs to be appropriated. There are some additional funds that are available to the agency that's revenue generated by the program, and those don't need to be uh, appropriated in the supplemental bill, so those are also addressing the shortfall. But with those funds and what's appropriated here address the total shortfall? Based on our current estimates, yes. Is there any indication that that would not be the case? That the, the funds wouldn't be sufficient? No, that, that's our estimate right now. And that's obviously the agency has confirmed that with you, right? I, the agency has a different estimate based on their forecast. What's the difference between that estimate and, and the LBB's estimate? Uh, I don't have that information with me. My recollection is it's about $300 million. Higher? Yes. And that's based on their determination of the actual the, the growth in the program based on what they're on their review? It's based on their projections, yes. 